Okay, so I want to explain what a Drinfeld module is. What is a Drinfeld module? Um, and let me give you a baby example. Um, so this is, an, this is an example of an endomorphism module. So let's take V to be a vector space uh, over a field K. Um, we'll take A from V to V to be an endomorphism. So this is going to be, uh, you know, just like a matrix. Okay, this is what we're going to think about. Um, and then what we'll do is we're going to construct uh, uh, a ZT module module structure on V. And what we're going to do is we're going to take T, and if we want it to act on some V, we just apply A to V. Okay, so this is for V and V. So this is the T action. And more generally, um, we're going to take some polynomial. So if we did T squared plus 1 and we wanted to apply it to V, well, we'll just apply the matrix here, A squared. Uh, we'll apply it to V plus 1. Uh, so this is the identity times V times V. So this is just going to be uh, A squared V plus V. Okay, so we applied the endomorphism twice. Uh, so this, this, this makes V into a ZT module. And so this kind of appears when, when we study Jordan decompositions and things like this. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so this is, uh, this is the baby structure of a Drimfeld module. What we're going to do is we're going to place this vector space with, um, with essentially the, like, a certain uh, field, and then we're going to place A with, with an additive polynomial. Let me explain again. Let's, let's recall um, what uh, the additive polynomials are. So let's recall... Um, so that if uh, A is a ring, uh, let's say, let's actually do this. Let's say if um, R is a ring, any ring, so it's a commutative ring over, um, let's say commutative uh, FQ. So this is a Q is going to be equal to P to the R for some R. Then um, what we can do is is we can look at the endomorphisms of R. Okay, so this could be as abelian groups or as let's say um, FQ vector spaces. And this thing will contain um, these additive polynomials. So these are additive polynomials under composition. composition. Um, so actually we could we can make this even bigger. We can say that this thing contains um, so this could be a non-commutative ring um, or this thing also contains here R tau like so. Uh, here again tau is this map x maps to x to the q. Um, so these are additive polynomials. Okay, and so really what these, these, these endomorphisms look like is they send R, right, to something like, uh, they look like, what do they look like? They look like this. They send R to like R, let's say A0 R plus A1 R to the Q plus A2 R to the Q squared plus dot 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 plus, and then we can have something like AR R to the, well, let's say AD R to the Q to the D here. And then this thing has the property that uh, if we call this uh, F of R, this thing has the property that F of R1 plus R2 is equal to F of R1 plus F of R2. Okay, so they, they break up, they're additive. And this just has to do with the fact that we're only using uh, Qth powers here. So this is what an additive polynomial is. Um, so, uh, that's that's that. Uh, so so now to talk about Drinfeld modules, uh, I need to fix some notation. Um, so a is going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do some so uh, some things where we, we this is kind of like rigid analysis. 
here. And so we're going to do a lot of analytic things, okay? And it's going to look a lot like classical complex analysis. And so this thing, um, okay, so this, this plays the role of the integers. So this is like the integers. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at something like the, the uh, real numbers. And so um, I'm going to call this k infinity. So this is going to be fq 1 over t, like so. Um, and so this is this is the the um, t inverse attic completion. Um, and then another thing that we can do is we can we can take this thing, and then we can algebraically close it, and then we can um, t attically complete again. So, and this will play the role of of, of c. Okay, so we're going to do rigid analysis here, and so this is something that's that's algebraically closed and topologically closed. Okay, so now I've said all this, um, I can tell you what a Drinfeld module is. So a Drinfeld module um, is an endomorphism module. So an endomorphism module again is. Um, just a, one of these modules that we cook up from an abelian group in an endomorphism, and so we make it a ZT module or a CT module um, uh, on uh, C uh, given by uh, fixing a phi in. So we'll take the endomorphisms of the additive group, so the additive group of this. So I take the additive group and I plug in this thing. And so we saw that before that these are these are the additive polynomials. Okay? And we're going to specify one condition. So this kind of makes things uh, interesting um, that uh, so, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say phi of t, and so this is this is going to be this particular polynomial. Um, it's going to look like t times tau zero mod tau. Okay, so we we fixed a particular endomorphism thing here, and so uh, this is what what happens when I plug in t. So this is this is the particular. Um, so it's again it's this is a is a ct module. Okay, so a so in particular, let me just write that over here. In particular, a Drinfeld module is a C adjoin little t module. Okay, so let me give some examples. Um, oh, I have to tell you what a morphism is. Okay, so uh, so definition. Um, so let so let's let's use the, some notation. Okay, so let's take uh, G A over C and phi uh, to be a Drimfeld module. Okay, let's uh, let me let me rewrite that. Um, so a morphism of Drimfeld modules. of Drinfeld modules is just a morphism of uh, CT modules. Okay, so um, again, so what, what am I saying here? This is really just like C with um, its its uh, particular fixed endomorphism, okay. Uh, so now let me give some examples. Okay, the Carlitz module. Uh, is the module the CT module on uh, C, so this is the additive group of C, uh, given by, so sometimes we use the notation rho, 
and this is t tau zero plus t. Okay, so that is so so this means the action. Uh, so that is the action of t on c is given by. Well, we'll do t times an element of z. So. Uh, so z, z is going to be an element in the, the kind of rigid analytic complex numbers. So I'm also denoting this row t. So this is just going to be z to the q plus t times z. Okay, and so this is kind of like a, a Frobenius looking thing. So if you reduce this mod t, this just looks like the Frobenius on fq. Um, all right, so that's, that's what the Carlitz module is. This is the most basic one. Um, Okay, now uh, let me just show you what a, a, a let me give another example. Um, so a Drimfeld module of rank two uh, two is just a uh, a CT module structure. or CT module on C uh, given by, well, we're going to take V of T and it's going to look like T tau zero. So it always looks like T tau zero plus um, G. And so this is going to be applied to V uh, tau one plus delta tau two. So what we've, we've done here is, um, so IE the, the CT, sorry, the CT action is given by, well, phi t applied to z, so z is going to be in c. So this is an additive polynomial. This is, this is tz plus g phi of uh, z to the q plus uh, this thing, maybe we'll put a phi there, of z to the q squared. Okay, so that's that's all you do. So this is uh, rank two. If we went higher degree, um, so in general, uh, the rank is equal to the degree with respect to tau of phi for phi an element of, well, the, the endomorphism, C of tau. Okay, not T, tau. Okay, so tau is again this, this Frobenius thing. So this is the identity, this is Q, so you raise it to the Qth power, and then this is Q squared. Um, Okay, so I, I'm going to say that that these things here are going to what what are are what going to give rise to modular forms. Um, uh, I think in the next video I'm going to talk about uh, the the uniformization of, of Drimfeld modules. Um, thanks for watching.